What's up everyone? Today's video is going to be the ultimate baby registry must have video. I have done one of these in the past like three years ago and it was a long one, went really in depth with everything. But as we know, every year new products come out, new versions of old products come out. So I want to do an updated one for you. And I've got my three pages of notes of everything that we're gonna go through. Everything that I talk about in the video will be linked down below. So make sure to check that out. You can easily add things to your registry through there and you can get a closer look at everything. And if you're brand new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. My name is Madison. I'm a single mom of two daughters. I have Riley who just turned four in October and then Kinsley is about to turn two in March, which is crazy. Where does the time go? But yeah, anyways, that's a little bit about me. Feel free to subscribe and follow for all the mommy lifestyle stuff over here. And now let's go ahead and get into this like ultimate baby registry must have video. Okay, so first off you guys, we're gonna add some books to the registry. And the reason why I'm saying this is that when you do your invitation for your baby shower, say on there that instead of getting a card, please bring a book with a little letter written into it instead. So that way you can get some books and you get those personal notes from family and friends that your little ones can read when they get older. It's such a great idea and I love it. So I've got a few books that I recommend to put on your registry. And these books, I, I'm i sorry, but they might make you cry. Like they made me cry when I read them. And I'm just like, I still read them to my little girls to this day and I'm just like tears to my eyes, but they're such good books. So the first one is Love You Forever. I bawled in this one, but it is such a beautiful book. On the Night You Were Born, I remember reading this one for the first time when I was a teacher because I used to be a Montessori preschool teacher and it's such a good one. The other one that I've read so many times to Riley is called If I Could Keep You Little. Oh, this one is just close to my heart. Um, it's such a, it's a really good book for mom. So another one is Wherever You Are, My Love Will Find You, which is, oh, it's got amazing illustrations in it. And then I've Loved You Since Forever. So those are some of my favorite books. I'll put those in the category down below but I think those are some really good ones to put on your registry and to have people do a little note instead of doing a card, I think is a good idea. All right, so if you see me looking down a bit, it's just because I'm looking at my list, but we're gonna get into breastfeeding right now. So first off, for the first time moms that are doing this, I'm telling you right now, don't beat yourself up over breastfeeding. It is very, very hard. It's a tough journey. It's not easy for anyone. It definitely is more difficult for others because I've had more difficult times with Riley than I did with Kinsley. I have a whole breastfeeding video, which I will link down below. You guys like check out my playlist. They're just extremely helpful. I kind of share the journeys that I went through. Um, but I just wanted to say that. I'm gonna share some things that have been very helpful for me through my breastfeeding journeys. Uh, just some backstory real quick. I breastfed Riley till three months old. She was not having it. She was really hard. Kinsley, I breastfed till about eight months old and it was very difficult to wean her off. <laughs> um, it was a completely night and day baby. So it really comes down to the babies. Let me tell you that. But here are some products that worked out great for us. The first one is the Breast Friend Pillow and they have a deluxe version, which I absolutely love. It's a little bit bigger, a lot more comfier, um, but their regular version is just as good as well. And it's awesome. I prefer this one over the boppy ones because the boppy has a very like rounded, like kind of more like cylinder like shape. And my little ones were little, so they just like would fall in there. I wouldn't have enough support. I just could not use it. It just wasn't great. So that was a dud for me. I tried it with both girls and not work. The breast friend one is amazing because it's got a lot more support. It's more flat, so it's easier to lay the babies on it. Also has a little pocket where you can put your like nipple like cream in there and everything that you need. Or even if you have a nipple cover, you can put that in there like the shields. Um, it also has a backrest to it too. So you can put that on you and it just is a lot more comfortable. It gives you a lot better support for nursing. The next thing is a must have is the Hakka breast pump. So this is a manual breast pump and you're mainly using this to catch your milk on the other side. So you have a letdown and when you have the baby nursing on one side, you're going to have a letdown over on the other side. So you just, it just suctions to your, your, your little chichis, your, you know, there. <laughs> 
it just suctions on so then it's gonna cut to that letdown so I literally would get like one to two ounces when I'm nursing her on this side I would get one to two ounces on this side it was amazing and then I would go do it on the other side when I would switch sides with her because you always want to nurse on both sides um and it was just awesome because then I definitely built up a stash just from doing that and I didn't have to do any work which was great so definitely get the Hakka breast pump um, another good one is the Lansano I believe they came out came out with a similar one too so that's another great option if the Hakka is not available but they both work just as good all right so now getting into an electric breast pump that is like the best one on the market you guys this one is amazing it is the spectra s1 it's the blue one so they have another one that's called s2 it's a pink one don't make the mistake that i did and get that one because it's nice and pretty because that one you have to stay plugged into a wall not fun the s2 is actually you can charge it and you can unplug it and you can use it anywhere so if you're in the car you don't have to be plugged in or get a battery like plug or anything like that like for the car you just literally can take this thing anywhere put it in the backpack and be like washing dishes or something setting it down it's just awesome so i love that because it's also just as powerful as the other one as the s2 if it was like plugged into the wall which is great so it's hospital grade now this is a must-have when you get the spectra s1 you guys because i know that a lot of us we love like you know the willows and the lvs they just seem so easy to slide right into your bra you don't have to have like a pumping bra or anything like that but those are a headache i had the willow it was a nightmare it's just not it's just no i say get the spectra s1 but then get them with the kara cups you guys because you don't need a pumping bra with these things they literally look like little willows or lvs as well and there's little cups they're reusable so you don't have to buy bags or anything like that and you just slide them in to any bra doesn't matter like a sports bra nothing like you don't have to be doing a pumping bra or changing your bra or anything like that it just slides right in and you can pump so fast it's life changing so you have got to get the kara cups if you get the spectra just the ease of it it just did a great deal for my mental health let me just tell you that because there is such a thing as like i think it's like pumping blues or something like that but they'll be a lifesaver for you another thing that i love is when you are pumping and you're storing milk is the lansano bags which are really good because if you are really like building a bunch of stash and stuff the bags are great because you just can just like lay them flat and then easily store them in the freezer. But if you're also just like not pumping that much, but you're just pumping every so often, you're not really building a stash. One of the things that I recommend to get are the Lansano bottles. You, these are just, you know, reusable bottles that you can use. They have like little lids. You can also turn them into a baby bottle as well. But um, they also just have like a sealable lid that you can just put in the refrigerator. And then I would take painter's tape. I would say the date and everything for it. So it made it really easy and then it was just reusable. This kind of brings me to also the baby bottles. And I did so much research and I got a lot of like referrals from my followers on Instagram saying that the Lansano ones are the best for breastfed babies. I don't know what it is about the shape. The nipple is definitely different than any other bottle I've seen. So I think it just really mimics the breast and it just, yeah. So they just take to it really easily and it didn't mess up with nursing at all either. So I definitely recommend getting the Lansano bottles. I think they are amazing. Now getting into some vitamin D drops. So Mommy's Bliss, they have a probiotic and vitamin D drop. A lot of people don't know but that we have a very minimal amount of vitamin D in our breast milk. So pediatricians will actually recommend you to use a vitamin D drop to put either in the bottles or to put on your boob and then have them nurse through there. Um, so that way they don't develop rickets or anything and it helps build stronger bones and all that. So it's really important. And then also I like the one from Mommy's List because it has a probiotic in it because they have gas and tummy issues. So you guys will notice that they'll be fussy for their tummies and this can kind of help settle that. They grow out of it about four months. That's when it gets a lot easier, but it kind of helps out with those tummy times, which also leads me to the Little Remedies Gas Relief Drops. Those are also a must have to have on there. So if you are nursing, I recommend getting the Bam Boobies Washable Nursing Pads. You can put that on your registry. They have them there at Bye Bye Baby. These are great because you can just slide them in there because you are going to leak <laughs> and it can help protect the bras and leaking through and they're easy because you can just throw them in the wash. So they're reusable and it's awesome. 
Um, other feeding things, I would say get the Copper Pearl uh, Burp Cloths. Those are my fave. They have the most cutest prints and their fabric is so soft. I love Copper Pearl. Used it for both girls. It's they're just so cute. So you guys will see it linked down below and you'll be like, oh my God, these prints are all so cute. Even boys and girls, they just did such a great job with everything. The other thing that I recommend is the Copper Pearl bibs. And these are really good to have when they are like teething or if they have reflux because it's like a cloth and it's really comfortable and you can also kind of match it to their outfit. It will help protect their outfit and it's comfortable for them. So it's not like just like a regular, like uncomfortable bib. Okay, so the next section that we're gonna get into is feeding. And so we did breastfeeding, now we're gonna go into feeding. So one of the products that I definitely recommend putting on your registry is the Boone Lawn Drying Rack. So you can get this in different like sizes. You can get a big one, you can get a small one. I have a little small gray one and I still use it to this day even just for my other like, you know, dishes and stuff. Whenever we have cups or anything, I put it on there. It's awesome, I love them. It's great and easy for like the bottles and just anything to be honest. So we love it, we still use it at this day. The other thing that I suggest to get is the Oxotot bottle brush. It has a whole little stand that you can get. I'll link it down below. These are my favorite bottle brushes. This is what I use for the girls. I tried other ones. This one is my favorite. Oxotot is one of my favorite baby brands. And next up when it comes to washing the bottles and everything, the soap that I love is the Dapple Dish Soap. That one has been my favorite. I feel like it really gets all the gunk out and really cleans well. So I love the Dapple one. And then for sterilizing you guys, like if you are pumping and you just got the bottles and everything, like this sterilizer is so good. It's the Baby Brezza one. It's their sterilizer dryer advanced one. They have different kinds. Get the advanced because it's so big and it, you can fit so much in there. You can sterilize the passies. So if you got passies, you could just sterilize the passies, you could do all the bottles, you could do your breast part. Cause you know, you should be doing your um, pumping parts like what? every few days or so. So you can throw everything in there, quickly clean it, sterilize it, everything. It's bomb. It is absolutely amazing and it dries it all too. So this is a must have. So it's the Baby Brazza one, you guys. I'll have that exact one linked down below. Next up is the Oxotot dishwasher basket. I love this. I have it in our dishwasher to this day because I use it for the straws. I use it for all the baby utensils and everything like that. So they all sit in it, it's on my top rack, it's awesome. Next up, what you're gonna want is when you are working on feeding them, you know, baby lead weeding or just feeding themselves, everything, it gets messy. So you're gonna wanna get a splat mat. Bye Bye Baby has some really cute ones from Jump Off Joe. They have such cute prints. They had like dinosaurs, they had rainbows, florals, like tons of really cute ones. You put that underneath the high chair. It's great. Oh, so the best bottle warmer, you guys, which is hands down my fave, is the Munchkin Fast Bottle Warmer. I think First Year's has one too, so I'll find it and link it down below for you guys, but this is the best. It like literally warms the bottles like that. So, you know, babies are really impatient. <laughs> so it's awesome. We still were using it. I think I finally just like packed it away because I'm going to be giving it to my sister. We were using it just to like a couple months ago just for regular like whole milk and stuff because Kinsley loved like warm milk. But yeah, it's awesome because of how fast it is. If you need one for defrosting, like this is one negative part to it, is that if you need one for defrosting like frozen milk, then I recommend getting the Baby Brezza one. That one is a great option there. All right, so for a bib, for when they start eating and when you like start going out to restaurants and everything like that, the best one is the Oxotot roll-up bib. You get them in a pack of two, you get them in one. Super easy to clean, they dry super fast. What I really love about them is that they actually have a Velcro, so it's really easy to get on and off of them. And then the bottom part is the silicone part, but the top part is more of a cloth, so it's a lot more comfortable. It fits them a lot better. And it can roll up, so you can easily like put it in your diaper bag and take it. I literally just took ours to the restaurant yesterday. We went and got Italian food, and I was like, oh, we gotta cover this girl up, otherwise she's gonna be covered in pasta sauce. So. It is awesome, I love it. 
Now getting into my favorite plate from the girls. Honestly, we've tried so many different types. My favorite is the bumpkins. They're like these silicone plates. They've got like a suction on the bottom. The suction isn't like crazy, crazy strong. So if the baby is really trying to like throw up and pick up the plate to throw it, they're gonna do it. The Oxitot one has the biggest suction. It's just that with that one, what I don't like is that the dividers just aren't very deep. So it's just not my fave. That's why I like the bumpkins. And the bumpkins works great. Like once they get a little older and they stop doing that, the bumpkins are awesome. And last but not least in the feeding section is obviously a high chair. So I have tried out so many different types of high chairs, you guys. I've tried out a lot. And I would say my favorite one from Bye Bye Baby that you can get there is going to be the Four Moms Connect high chair. If you talked to me a couple days ago, probably not, but we just discovered something about it that I love, you guys. So with the Four Moms Connect High Chair, it's a magnetic tray, so it's really easy to like pop on and pop off, which is awesome. Um, it's got this little section in the middle that went between the legs, and I didn't know that that came off. <laughs> we just discovered this because Kinsley's been wanting just like a regular like how Riley's like high chair turns into a chair. She's been wanting like that and I didn't know the four moms did that and it does. So now she's like loving it which makes it awesome so it's super easy. You can adjust the heights. You can basically turn it into a chair once they get older. You've got a five point harness to it or you can just use it for the bottom part. Um, but it's awesome. So I love the fact that it does that. I like to find high chairs that can grow with them and you can use for a long time. I think that is very helpful and it's also super easy to clean. Okay, so now we're getting into travel. So this is gonna be like, you know, the stuff that you put in the car, travel with if you went on vacation or anything like that. The first product that I recommend putting on your registry, which is my favorite one, this is the Four Moms Breeze Plus play yard. They have different kinds. I love the Breeze Plus because it's nice and small and condensed and you guys, it's so easy to use. Literally, it's like a it's it's just like a pop up and pop down. It's like a play, it, you know, it's like a pack and play. And those things are a nightmare. Like the actual like Fisher Price pack and plays are such a nightmare because you have to like lock the sides and get it all a certain way and it just takes it just takes forever. This one is not like that. It just has like the center that you just push down and boom, it's up and then when you want to take it out, you just grab a string, you go up and boom, it's done. It's collapsed. It is so easy and it's easy to store. They just did such a great job with this. So I highly recommend the Four Moms Breeze Plus Play Yard. You will use it for so long. I actually just had it in my room because there would be times where it's like, okay, I got to get ready real fast. I put Kinsley in there, let her play, have a snack in there. And so I could get ready really fast. I didn't have to worry about her wandering all around upstairs. And it's super easy to travel with too. The next thing is a huge must have. If you are a first time mom, I wish I would have done this with Riley and I'm so mad that I did not, but this thing is amazing, especially because you can keep it till you have like, you know, your second and stuff because it makes it really easy when you've got multiples. Um, it's called the Duna car seat and stroller. This device is the most awesomest thing ever. It basically is an infant car seat and then you take it out, like you pop it out of like the little, um, the base and you hit a button and boom, the wheels pop out and it's a stroller. It's so awesome. It is the best thing ever because when I was doing school drop-offs for Riley when she was little and I just had Kinsley and she was a newborn, like I would see other parents be like lugging like a big heavy like car seat and like trying to like, cause you have to bring it into the school. You gotta check them in, you gotta bring it out. and. I would just kind of pop this thing out and I had parents look at me and dads were like, why don't I have that? They're like, that thing is amazing. And I'm like, I know, you're not gonna break your back over it. So, and some babies could be in it for a really long time. You know, it all goes down to height and weight. So I know some friends that had their kids in it till they were like almost two because they were little. Here's my little tip too. If you can't find the color that you want, cause there's like all different colors, um, you can just go ahead and get whatever is available. Then you can go on there. You can actually buy the colors, like the canopy and everything separately for like 20 bucks, I think it is. And so you can get the color that you want if you can't find it in the, like the original one. That's what I ended up doing because I really wanted the pink one. <laughs> 
and then I discovered that little fun fact that was like, oh my god, I could turn this into pink, so I turned it into pink. Getting into another stroller because I know, like, you know, that one's not gonna last forever, and then there's gonna be times where you're gonna have longer outings, like say if you go to Disneyland or something, the dune is not gonna be great for that. Um, so you're gonna wanna get another stroller, and the one that I recommend is the Up A Baby Vista stroller. They came out with the volume two. I have the first one. This thing is amazing. It comes with a bassinet, so you can still lay the little one in there. Um, but this one is awesome for them to grow with. And the reason why is also because Riley's pretty tall. She's like, what, 46 inches now and 40 pounds. So she still fits in it. I take it to Disneyland with us, and it's so nice and sturdy. It's not flimsy. It can fit a bigger child. I think Ross's kids still fit in it too, which is like they're like five and eight. Um, and it's got a huge storage compartment underneath it too. Love the Up A Baby Vista stroller. That one's probably definitely my favorite when it comes down to like a solo stroller. Now getting into baby carriers. I would say Ergo Baby is the way to go. Their Embrace is amazing for infants. It's so good. It's so easy. It's like really small and thin it's just like it's not like a bunch of crap going on you know and it's like really quick and easy to get them in and that was the only one that Kinsley would go in you guys she would not go into any any carrier it was such a nightmare so that one was definitely like the one to get for me it worked the best and it was super easy to use so the ergo baby embrace that one's great for newborns but once they get a little bigger you're gonna need something with a little bit more support so i definitely recommend getting the ergo baby 360 and this one's great because it's got so many different options to it. it has a lot more support you got the breathable mesh at back you got the cover over the head for the sunshade um and also you could nurse with it and it will give you some privacy uh, it's just is great and you can use it for so many different ways. You can put it on your back and stuff too. So it can't, it doesn't even have, just have to be like a front carrier. It could be a back carrier as well. So that's a great one to have for like longevity. And then also for travel is another product from Copper and Pearl. I say and, but it's Copper Pearl. And it's their five-in-one multi-use car seat cover. So this will go over the infant car seat and it is great for like outings where you just want like you know your baby to be covered a little bit more protect them from the sun it's got a little opening at the top but you can still shade them up and they've got really cute print and then you can also use it as a nursing cover too so it's like it's you can use it for so many different things and then if you took that off you could use it as a blanket like there's definitely multiple uses out of this and it's the best. So I had one for Riley and Kinsley and I loved it. It was awesome. So definitely recommend that. All right, you guys, so we're still hanging in there. We're gonna go into clothing now. And with clothing, some really awesome hangers to get are the Mighty Goods hangers. And this is actually a brand from Bye Bye Baby. So I would definitely check out from here and check out to see what they have to offer. They have got so many different types of products, but I definitely recommend the hangers. It works great for the kids' clothes. I have them for my girls. It's bomb. You can get them in different colors and we have pink and blue on there. So definitely check that out. Some other clothing items that I definitely recommend are the E equal MC squared magnetic footies. So these are little magnets. So you can like quickly do these diaper changes and everything and be like, you know, it's the best. And honestly, I had Kinsley living in them even during the day because once I had two girls and I, I needed these diaper changes to be fast, quick and easy. Having the E equals M E squared, like those ones, the magnetic ones just save you. And they've got some cute prints too. Another good thing that I saw on there, cause you know, if you want like cute little outfits and stuff, I, they have the brand Monica and Andy at Bye Bye Baby. And it is so cute. I actually discovered them. I think um, a friend, uh, yeah, a friend gifted them to us for Riley as like a gift and I just fell in love with the clothes. I'm like, it's so soft, so cute. They've got adorable prints. They have some really cute little like bodysuit dresses and stuff you were getting if you're having a girl. So definitely check out Monica and Andy. The fabric is super, super soft. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the nursery. And first up, we're gonna talk about just like furniture. Cause as you guys know, Bye Bye Baby, you can get a whole nursery set there and a rocker and a chair, everything, like it's awesome. So what I recommend when you start shopping for cribs and stuff is to get a four in one crib where it goes from a regular crib to a toddler bed, to a day bed, and then to a full bed. 
you got like everything in one. It's amazing. That's what Riley's Bed does and it's awesome. So it makes it really easy. Some brands to check out are Ever and Ever and Mighty Goods. They've got some really, really cute ones for a good pricing. So definitely check those out and to find like what style is gonna go with the theme of your room that you wanna do for your little one. And then is the Hatch Baby Rest Plus with a charging pad. So there's different versions of this. I've had two of the versions and they came out with another one now. So there's this Hatch Baby Rest. So basically what this is, is it has a light. You can change the lights. You can have the app on your phone. You can change everything from your phone. You can change the colors. You can change how bright it is. You can change the sound volume, everything, the noises, all that from your phone. But basically the first one, you would just have it plugged in. The one that I have is the Hatch Baby Rest Plus where you can unplug it and it's just charges and you can take it around the house with you if you want to have the baby nap somewhere else, but you can use like, you can get different noises and lullabies with it, which is awesome. So it's great for travel, but now they have a charging pad one. So you don't have to unplug it or anything like that. It just has a charging pad that it sits on top of, which I think is amazing. So definitely get the Hatch Baby Rest Plus with charging pad. It's great. You can also even, I think it, you can talk through it too. So you can hear, like you can talk through and they can hear you talk yeah, it's really cool. So just definitely get that. That one's amazing. The next thing is a changing pad. And this one is also from Hatch Baby. It's their Grow Smart Changing Pad. The reason why I recommend this one is it's a little bit pricier, but it's easy to clean. But what's also great is you just have the app on your phone and it's actually a scale. So it tracks everything for you. And if you are having a tough time with nursing and stuff, what they say is to actually strip the baby down put the baby on the changing pad or the scale, measure it, and then feed the baby, and then weigh the baby again after you're done nursing, and then you'll see how many ounces they really got. So if you, it gives you a peace of mind in that, which is why I really love it. And then also, as you know, when you bring a baby home from the doctor, like, you know, once you have a baby, you come home from the hospital, they're gonna drop a little bit of weight. They all drop a little bit of weight. Don't worry, don't stress. They will gain it back. But then this can hang, kind of help you track it at home and give you a little bit more peace of mind. So. I love, love, love the Hatch Baby Grow Smart Changing Pad. It's amazing. Another big must have to have in the nursery or even just like by your bedside for the newborn times is the Frida Baby Humidifier. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but I actually have one in the girls' room and I have one on my nightstand too <laughs> that I use every night. And what I love about it is that you can actually get these little oils. You can do a lavender to help to sleep or you could do the Breathe Easy, you know, if you're struggling with a sickness or something you can just drop them in there and it smells amazing and i love how small it is too so it doesn't take up much space and it just works awesome so it works so well for the girls that i went and got my own <laughs> for a baby monitor i have done a lot of reviews of different baby monitors on my channel and i have to say the one that i like the most is the infant optics dxr8 Pro. So this is the bigger one. You guys will see it's a lot longer of a screen. It's very clear. Awesome. I love the fact that it has all the buttons on the top. So you're not having to go through menu and then change the volume, change the brightness, do everything through a menu and like have to hit multiple buttons. They all have their own buttons at the top, which makes it super, super easy. So I definitely love the Infant Optics one. Another good option is the Vava, which is what I have for Riley. I have Infant Optics for Kinsley and Vava for Riley. And the Vava one is good. I love that one. I just, it's just the one, I think this is it. If Vava had the quick access buttons at the top, I might like it more than the Infant Optics because the Vava has longer range than my Infant Optics does. I notice that my Infant Optics will go out of range pretty like quick, like a, does it goes around range um, with less time, like space in between as my Vava. My Vava, I feel like it go to the other end of the house, like downstairs and everything, and it still works. So that is like the, so if you have like, I have a two story house, that's like 2,500 square feet. I really don't have a problem because I'm usually upstairs anyways with it, but I just noticed that the Vava can travel further away from the room than my infant optics though, but I like them both. Okay, so next up for the nursery is the diaper genie. I have the Ubi one and the Ubi one I hate. The diaper genie is just, 
holds in the smell so much better and it's so much easier to change the trash cans because you just pull it down you cut it you tie it boom you're done it just is way better so the diaper genie is the one to go with it's the best and then you can even get ones with like the year supply of genies and stuff refills but that one is by far the, the best diaper trash can next up is the skip hop diaper caddy i actually had two of these i loved them if they're nice and sturdy it has a little light on it too so if it's in the middle of the night and you're trying to look for something boom you can tap that light it's on and you can see and it's got multiple little pockets in it too so i actually have one actually still have the two i have one upstairs and I have one downstairs for her diaper section downstairs for Kinsley. And it's just awesome. It's a great product, super sturdy. It's my favorite one. I had another one from another brand that I just did not like. It was just too heavy. This one is awesome. So this is the one I recommend. Oh, also last but not least for the nursery part is a mattress for your crib. So I actually had the Newt tin. But I have found, because I got the Halo one for Kinsley, and I like the Halo one way more. It's the Halo Dreamwave mattress, and the reason why, it's got two different sides to it. So it's got the toddler side, that is the waterproof side, and then they have the infant side, because waterproof products are not breathable. So that's why they did that, and Halo has amazing products for safe sleep. It's that's how they started it. I believe the owner is the one he lost a uh, child to SIDS and so he created this line and it's um, absolutely amazing what they do and they have just absolutely amazing products. So that's why I definitely recommend their mattress over all the other ones. So I have that one for Kinsley and we love it. Now going into sleep stuff. So these are products to have, must have to help the baby sleep. So we are gonna talk about this little gadget, which is one of the best gifts you can give to anyone at a baby shower. This is what I gift everyone. This is called the Baby Shusher. I call it like this little candy corn rocket ship thing because it is looks like a little candy corn rocket ship. It is amazing. I had three of them, literally downstairs in my car and upstairs in the girls' room. It is what puts the babies to sleep like that. It is amazing. It is a lifesaver. It is awesome. Next up is a lounger and there's like the Dakota and then there's the Snuggle Me's. I've had both and I actually prefer the Snuggle Me loungers. Those ones just worked really well. It really kept the baby in place and it just, they were just really soft. I just really like those ones better. So the Snuggle Me loungers, definitely. It's a great little thing to put the baby, like say if you're on the couch and stuff and you've got a newborn and you're just resting and stuff, to have them laying in that right next to you is amazing. So that's what I loved it for. Then next up is a bassin nest. So I had the Halo Swivel like bassin nest and it's just like, the one I had was from years ago. I used it for both girls. So this was from Ruth Riley and Riley is four now. So they came out with other ones. There's one that they came out with and it's, I was looking at this one. I was like, oh, this is so much better because this is the Halo Bassin S Flex Sleeper. And what I really like about this one is it's smaller and it doesn't take up as much space in the room with the legs. So I feel like it's a lot more efficient. So I definitely recommend doing the Halo Bassinet Flex Sleeper, just especially if you have a smaller bedroom. I have a huge bedroom, but it still was a nightmare. Next up is the replacement pad for the Halo. So there's like this little like mattress pad that's in there. Get a replacement one because there's gonna be nights where they have a blowout or if they have spit up or anything and you're gonna need to put something in there to have them sleep for the rest of the night and it's gonna suck if you're gonna have to stay up and like have to wash this thing and wait for it to be done. So definitely get an extra. You wanna get multiple fitted sheets for it. It's so like two, I would definitely say. So again, you have your backup. Okay, so now getting into some more safe sleep items. So we have the Halo Sleep Sack. So these are my favorite sleep sacks to have for them once they're done being swaddled. It's super easy to get them in. I love the fleece ones, those were my faves, and it was the best. I used them for both girls, and we used them for Caspian too, my sister's son. So these have lasted for us for a long time, but those ones are just like super easy to put them in and out of. Some swaddles that are really good for the beginning when they're a newborn, because that startle reflex can kind of get them is the swaddle, it just depends on the baby really, you guys. Like some babies like to be swaddled and some don't 
like it. Riley did not like it. So it was not a, it, we, she was totally fine. She slept through the night at like 10 weeks without being swaddled. Um, Kinsley had to be swaddled. So every baby's different. So when it comes down to swaddles, what worked for us for Kinsley was the swaddle me, which was good. Those are Velcro. So it's really easy if you don't know how to swaddle. But in all honesty, the one that like worked really well because I got really good with swaddling was the Copper Pearl Swaddle Blanket. Like I said, with their fabric, it was so soft and nice and stretch and like it just stretched really easily. So I could just swaddle her arms really well with it. That's what I did. And then I think that they also say now you don't want to swaddle the legs. You want to kind of let those to be free a little bit because of the, they're saying that there's like probably hip things there. So, but it's really easy to swaddle their arms and stuff with the copper pearl swaddle blanket. And you can use it for blankets for them, like when they're in the the car seat and all that too for on the go, which is great, so multi-use out of it. But that was the one that worked the best for her. Also for the nursery, when you have your crib, I, for, I should've put this up in the nursery one, but it's a copper pearl crib sheet. Those are some of my favorite crib sheets because again, they are so soft and they've got the cutest prints. So I love getting those for the girls when it comes down to pacifiers. So if I could just say this though, that if your little one, if you could get away with not using a pacifier, try to because they're a nightmare to get rid of. And I feel like it causes more like oral fixations when they're older, when they have a passy. Riley was a huge into the passy and she was putting stuff in her mouth like till like two years old. It was a nightmare. And I definitely noticed the difference between both girls because Kinsley never took a passy and she will not put things in her mouth. It's like, it's totally different. Like everyone's like, oh no, we can't have this little item because Kinsley will put it in my mouth. I'm like, no, she doesn't put things in her mouth. It's like night and day. And it just makes it easier. So that's like one thing that we don't have to like transition away from, you know, the passy. So I always say like, I, this is what I kind of say, you know what, do what you can to help them sleep. But if you could avoid it, try <laughs> because it's a lot easier when they don't have the passies. But if you were doing a passy, here are the three that I recommend. The Avent Soothe is really good for when they're a newborn. That one's awesome. It's very similar to what's on the Wubba Nub, um, which is the little character. And like, that's what Riley was hooked with because she loved to hold the little character, like the little guy. We had a unicorn one that she really, really loved. And then if they're done with the Soothe's and all that, Check out the Avent Passies Ultra Air. I really like these ones because they were more narrow so it didn't block the nose. So that made it very easy and more comfortable. So the Avent Passy Ultra Air. So those were the my very favorite ones if they do take a Passy. Okay, so now getting into toys. Let's get into the fun stuff. So um, here are some items that I recommend putting on your registry. So when they start getting older and they can start sitting up and everything like that, I think it's like about six months old or so that they can get into the skip hop activity center. This is a great one. This is one of my favorite cause it's a little bit more smaller, a little bit more condensed. It's not going to take up too much space. It doesn't have too much simulation going around it too. You don't want to get the ones that are like crazy, like lights and overstimulated ones. Those are just a nightmare. I made that mistake. And what's also great about it too is it can turn into a play table as well. So you can fill up the little hole in the middle with the little thingy and it makes it flat and it turns into a table. So it's great, it's multi-use product. I, again, I am always trying to find stuff that will last for different stages. Next up is a really good toy that I recommend for newborns because this is great to do tummy time with them and to work with their tracking skills. So it's the noggin stick, you guys. And it's like this little rattle. It has a mirror on the bottom so they can kind of see themselves. You shake it, it makes noises. And then also it changes light. So it changes color. So it's like red, blue, and it really grabs them. And like, you'll do tummy time with them and you just have it go slowly from side to side. And it helps them move, help them really work and build those muscles. Um, it's great and it's also great for them to play with when they're in the car seat too. Another one that we really loved is the O-Ball Shaker. We were actually gifted this one, I think from um, Joel's mom when Riley was really little and she loved it. It was easy for her to grasp and it was like a little like rattle. And again, it was small. So it was awesome. It's a great car seat toy and stroller toy as well. One that I really loved with Kinsley was the Baby Einstein Curiosity Clutch Sensory Toy. It had like all these little things. It kind of reminds me of like a miniature baby bop it because it's got like 
rattles and squeakies and everything around, but it's so small and condensed that it's, again, it's not overstimulating and it's just a, another great stroller and car seat toy. And then a really good like play mat to use for your playroom or in your living room or anything like that to do tummy time on is the baby care play mat. They have so many different like different um, designs and everything. We have this really cute pink cloud one in our playroom and it's great. It's super easy to clean and it's sturdy. We've had it forever, so it's awesome. Next up for another like must-have toy is the kick and play because again, it's another great thing that can grow with them for different stages. So you can lay the little baby down, they can look up, look at the rattles, they can kick at the piano. So it really gets them going and they get that cause and effect because they feel like the kicking, they hear the sound, it plays different musics. We all know the songs <laughs> because it just plays over and over, but they love it. It's also really good for tummy time because you could put them in front of the piano and you can have the, like where it's playing the songs and then it has like the colors go and so it helps them like keep them up and keep them focused on it which really helps with tummy time. And then when they start sitting up they can sit up and play with the piano and play with the stuff and then also you can undo the piano and they can just carry it around with them and they can just play with it so it kind of just grows with them which is great. It's actually pretty easy to store as well. And then last but not least for the toy section is I was really happy to see that they had this on Bye Bye Baby because it's great to add to your registry. This is the Love Every Play Gem. Oh, I love the Love Every Play Gem. Their stuff is amazing. It's Montessori base play and they've got everything that you need for sensorial on there and it's just awesome. And it even turns into like a cute little tent as well. So I highly recommend that one and to put that on your registry. Okay, you guys, we are getting there. <laughs> we're, we're getting to the end. Mm. I need my tea with some honey for this throat. Next section is the bath section. Okay, first off, this is the first thing that I really love and I was so happy when I found this because I had different other like storage options for toys for the bathtub and this one is by far my favorite. It's from Oxotot. Again, one of my favorite brands. They have like the best stuff. This is their stand up bath bin. It sits on the outside of the bathtub. You can easily put the toys in there. I used to have one that was the whale. I think, what brand was it? Was it Munchkin? And it would like suction onto the side of like the shower and stuff. But the thing is, is my shower has like tiles. So it just wouldn't suction very well. And it was just took up space in the bathtub. And I give the, the girls bath together. So it just, I didn't have, I needed the room for the girls. So having the one on the outside, it's so easy and it literally has a little catch off of the water at the bottom so it's easy to clean. And you can just dump the toys in there and then easily set the toys back in there. So it's great, it's awesome. A really good bathtub for newborns is the Angel Care Baby Bath. This one's great, like it actually fit in my farm sink downstairs, but what I, where I used it was in the bathtub. I sat in the bathtub, kept the water low, and the baby just sits and rests in it, and it was amazing. So it was the one that we loved for all the kids. We had it for, we used the same one for Riley, Caspian, and Kinsley. So it's the Angel Care one, and it's very affordable too. For another bath seat that I recommend when they start sitting up, and this is the one that Kinsley is still in because I worry that she's gonna try standing up and slipping or something like that, you know? So this really helps keep her in there right now. <laughs> it is the Summer Infant Bath Seat. So this one's amazing because they just, it's like a high chair kind of seat thing or booster seat for the bathtub. And this one I recommend over the other ones that I've seen because it has suctioning to the back of the bathtub and to the sides of the bathtub. So this thing is not going forward, it's not going backwards, it's not going to the sides, it is staying put. The other ones I don't think are as safe, so this is way more safe, and even though it takes up a little bit more space, it's a must have and it keeps them seated in there too, so you don't have to worry about them trying to get out or slipping or anything like that. So it is a must have, it's definitely a pain in the butt to store, but again, we used it for Riley, Caspian, and Kinsley. Getting into some baby washes, I've tried a lot of different kinds and my favorite one that I have tried is the Cetaphil Baby Wash Shampoo. I love that one. It suds up so easily. It really cleans their hair. It really cleans their body. It's just an awesome baby shampoo and body wash. So that one is by far is my favorite. And then also on Bye Bye Baby, like when you're looking for like baby towels and stuff, 
Mighty Goods has some really good sets. They have like an eight piece towel and washcloth set where you can get multiple like hooded towels with washcloths, which are awesome. And you can get all different types of prints. They had a really cute rainbow one too. So I love that. I use all hooded towels for the girls still and they love it, so those are awesome. Okay, so next up we're gonna get into baby gadgets and gear. The first one that we're gonna go through is kind of like just, you know, self-care, like taking care of them. So we're gonna go into the Frida Baby, which Frida Baby has amazing products, like the Mom Frida, the Baby Frida, like all of that are just great. But I really love the one that they came out with. It is the Electric Nose Aspirator. They had the little manual one that you would have to suck, and. That thing was just so gross. I swear, like sometimes it would come through the filter and it was just so gross. No, the nasal aspirator is so much better. <laughs> so do the nasal aspirator, you guys. It's awesome, it's great. And then they also have some great nail clippers as well. Another really good ear like and nose cleaner is the Oogie Bear. And these have like little scoops to them and it's so great to get like the little, like when they're newborns and stuff, These have, they get their little boogers and all that so this is great to like easily scoop out and get in there which is awesome so that's another like little must-have and then for a thermometer and this will last you all through those years I've had this one forever and it's my favorite one I've had multiple and this is the best it is the Kinza quick care bluetooth smart thermometer so it actually has an app on your phone you guys and it's quick care so you're not sitting there and waiting for this thing to read the temperature of your baby because sometimes they don't want to sit there so this one you can use it for rectal you can use it for underneath the tongue you can use it for in the armpit all of that which is great and you tell in the app where you're pulling the, the temperature from because just to remember like if you're taking a forehead temperature or like underneath the arm or underneath the tongue it's always i think if they say it's one degree more is what i've learned from the doctors um, and then the rectal is the one that's going to be the most exact. So you want to put like a little bit of aquaphor on there and then put it in there and it's nice and quick so they're not uncomfortable, but it's great for them. And it reads it really fast. It leaves it on your phone so you can like check the date and the time of when they had that temperature and it tells you like when to call the doctor and all the, all the remedies that you could do and it stores all that information there. So let's say you're going to the doctor a couple days later and you'd be like, oh yeah, they had a temperature on this day and this time and this time. But well, you can show them everything for some other little like gear to get is the Fisher Price Snug a Puppy Swing. So there's tons of different swings out there, you guys, but this one is by far the best because it goes both ways. You can go from side to side or back to forth and some babies don't like to be swung certain ways. Like I've learned that with Rai Rai and Kinsley. Like Riley wanted to be back and forth. Kinsley wanted to be side to side. <laughs> it's so funny how that works out. But that's way, like, you can get the best of both worlds with it. Has lullaby music to it. It has a mobile with a little mirror on the top to get their attention. Um, they just love it, and it gives you that hands-free moment that you need. If you need to go wash dishes or make dinner really quickly, it gives you a place to put them, and it's the best. So I love that. The down part to it is it's so freaking big. It's so big. It is not easy to store. It is not easy to put in your living room. It takes up so much space, but it is by far the best it works the best another good little gear to have is the baby Bajorn bouncer I had one of these for Kinsley and it's super easy to store it's just like this little bouncer but basically it's just a place to kind of set them in when you have to like go around the house <laughs> like if I'm working in the kitchen and something and I want her near me I or she wants to be near me and see me then I can sit her in that and she could just stare at me and then you can also like kind of like manually like use this little bouncer for them um, but it works great for them and you can make it collapse to flat So it's actually really easy to store and take with you to places too And for my last little baby gear and stuff is something I haven't talked about yet is a diaper bag So the one that I love the most at Bye Bye Baby is one that I have I've have a few of these ones, but it's the fawn design diaper bag I was actually really excited to see them at Bye Bye Baby they have different sizes. I actually like the mini 
The big one is great to have because there are gonna be days where you're gonna have longer outings, like visiting family holiday time, where you're there all day, you're gonna need the bigger one. But for the quick little outings, just for like during the day, are the mini one is the best because it's like, it becomes a purse too. And their zipper and their quality is just so good. It's easy to zip and open. They've got great colors. They've just got so many options. So definitely recommend the Fawn Design diaper bag if you are doing one on your registry for Bye Bye Baby. And then last but not least, we're gonna get into baby skincare, you guys. This is like something you definitely have on your list. The first thing is triple paste. This is the best diaper rash cream, hands down, out of anything I've ever seen. This gets away the worst diaper rash so fast. Uh, Kinsley's had bad diaper rash before, Riley's had ba bad diaper rash before, and this stuff clears it up like that. It is amazing. So triple paste is a must have. Get the big jug, just get the big jug. It's awesome. Another great product to have is the Aquaphor Baby, which you can use on different things, um, but it's also great to do between the diaper changes when they don't have the diaper rush. If you don't wanna use the triple paste, you don't have to use something so like heavy. You can use this, the Aquaphor Baby, which is great for in between. For diapers, my favorite were the Huggies. I just feel like they kept everything in a lot better than the Pampers did. So Huggies were definitely my favorite diaper, but definitely just get a couple of each and see which one fits your baby because it honestly comes down to the body shape of what fits and what is your preference, but the Huggies were my favorite. And then for the last but not least, for the last product to put on there is wet wipes. So I think wet wipes are the best baby wipes for newborns. Um, I love them. They've got very simple ingredients, no fragrance, so it's not gonna aggravate that skin because you've gotta be very careful with what you put on them when they're newborns because honestly, you're not gonna be putting lotion on them. I think they say to wait like a month or two months for lotion. You just want simple things on them. So wet wipes are amazing and they also are very well saturated, so it's really easy to clean with them. They're not dry, they're not like hard on them. They're just really saturated wet wipes that just really clean really, really well and have great ingredients. So I always recommend wet, right, wet wipes for newborns. So that one is definitely a must have. All right, you guys, so that is everything on my baby registry must haves, my throat, everything. I'm so tired. That was a lot of talking, but I hope you guys found this video helpful. Everything is going to be linked down below for you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you all. Feel free to comment down below if I missed anything, if you have any recommendations of what you love. I love hearing from you guys too. And I'm sure that future people that will come and watch the videos, they'll go through the comments and they'll see. So they'll be really helpful for them too. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.